Hey guys, long time now see ya. Huh? Today, we're going to be testing the differences in efficiency between the brushless motor and brush motors. So we're gonna be using three different motors today. The brushless motor that we're going to be used in comparison uh, against brush motors is the Warhead Base 35K motor. For the two brush motors, we're gonna use the typical OEM motor that you typically find in um, just most of your airsoft guns, especially your uh, lower end grades or the budget friendly airsoft guns like the SEMAs and s and and some other ones. We're also going to compare to a aftermarket motor. This one in particular is an ASG 30K. This one's the Infinity version. And so I feel like that it's going to be a pretty good test bench. The measurements that we're going to be used is going to be the amp draw straight from the battery using an inline amp meter and the other measurement we're going to be using is rounds per second so the goal is to see how much of a difference a brush motor, brushless motor makes versus your typical brush motors without further ado let's check it out all right the first one we're going to do is the stock motor that's typically found in most airsoft guns uh, from the factory right here i have my inline watt meter Right here will display the max amps that gets pulled out of this battery. We're using a 11.1 2200 MAH 20C LiPo battery. This M4 shoots about 410 FPS and we'll find out the rounds per second. So I did a, a full tune up on this, this gun to get the best results that we can possibly get. All right, without further ado, let's do our first test. This is now the semi-auto test for amperage. Looks like we got 20.9 amps on the first shot. 23.7 on the second. Now I'm gonna spam it. Looks like the highest amperage pull we're getting out of the battery is 26.9 amps. So I'm gonna unplug it and replug it in so that we can see the amperage pull for full auto. All right, let's try full auto. Looks like it got 21.3 amps on full auto. So that's our current amp draw using the OEM motor. At the end of the video, I'll display the differences between all the motors so it's easy to see the differences. All right, let's do the rounds per second test. All right, OEM motor test. Here we go. 18.8 rounds a second. Not bad for an OEM motor shooting at 413 FPS. This is with 0.2 gram BBs. All right. Let's move on to the next. All right, let's get this 30K ASG motor in this gun and see what kind of results we get compared to the OEM motor. All right, rock and roll. Hey guys, uh, real quick, I had to change out the pistol grip because uh, the old one here was wiggling on the gearbox because uh, it just would not secure properly. So it ended up putting this pistol grip on and it fixed the problem. So without further ado, we're gonna, we're gonna move on to the amperage test. We got the 30K motor in, so here we go. Okay, so we got the ASG 30K in here. We got our amp meter plugged in and the same battery used on the first round. All right, here we go. So we're just gonna do semi-auto to get a good amperage pull out of the battery. Good, 29 amps, we'll do it again. Okay, so that so that, that little smaller spike there was because uh, of overspin. So it was pre-cocked, so the motor didn't have that much to spin. So. That's kind of a false, I will take that as a false alarm, but right now our max amperage, and, th and this is why we're going with max amperage if this thing would focus. There we go. So now I'm just gonna spam it to see where this amperage goes. All right, so like 30.4, it's a little higher than the OEM one. So I guess the next thing we're gonna do now is test the rounds per second. All right, so now the ASG 30K Rounds per second test. Here we go. Good 
at about 22.5 rounds a second. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Hell yeah. All right, now let's move on to the brushless. All right, time to swap in the brushless motor. Here's our brushless motor, the 35K Warhead Industries. This is their base motor. We're going to pull the pinning gear off of the current motor that's in here and swap it on over to the Warhead so that we don't have to reshim the gearbox and all we have to do is the motor height adjustment. And then we can move on to our further testing of the amp draw and rounds per second. All right guys, see you in a bit. All right, we've got the brushless motor put in. And so we're now about to do the amp test in semi-auto. Still got the same battery, got the meter plugged in, we're ready to go. We're already on semi. So let's see what kind of amperage we get. This is the max that it gets. 9.5 amps. All right, so now I'll spam it. As you can see, 11.6 amps, and that's spamming the trigger. That's almost half of what the OEM motor was pulling and more than half than the ASG motor. Wow. All right, what about rounds per second? Let's find out. All right, so now the rounds per second test with the brushless motor. Here we go. Not bad. I only lost a little bit of rounds per second. It's negligible compared to the 30K. All right, let's go over what we found. Hey, if you're enjoying the content, uh, consider liking and subscribing to the channel. It'll really help me out, grow this channel to help out more airsofts there's just like you guys. So without further ado, let's uh, go over what happened. The OEM motor got roughly pulled, roughly about 27 amps from the battery and it shot about 18.8 rounds per second. And then when we swapped out to the ASG motor, we got 30, about 30 amps pulling from the battery and about 22.5 rounds per second. And then when we swapped to the brushless motor, and this is just the base warhead motor. We got 11.6 amps max pulling out of the battery and 21.8 rounds a second, almost the same amount of rounds per second as the ASG motor and half the amperage of the OEM motor. Over half, well, well under half. So it goes to show that the brushless motors are pretty efficient Additionally, and one thing I would want to add, the brushless motors also have active braking, specifically the Warhead Industries. Either you get the base or the CNC machine ones or the soon to be released uh, Ronin series. But they all have active braking, so you don't need a MOSFET for active braking. So if you would like to try the motors yourself, I do have the base 35K and the CNC Black Edition the standard speed and the high speed 52k highly recommend swapping your airsoft guns over to brushes they are really efficient so if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comments down below and i'll see you next time remember call your hits